chicken. Succulent, tender, delicious. One of the most highly consumed meats in the entire world. But how much do we really know about it? Where does it come from? We're told it comes from an animal. But how do we know that? How will it affect the economy? I decided to find out more. I decided to start off by asking the experts. I spent 40% of my life studying the behavior and movements of chicken. And you dare to suggest that they're not real. I'd know it in my lab. Fools! You doomed us all! White nationalist Abdullahi Spider-Man consumes five metric tons of chicken per day and is a true connoisseur in all things bird. The fuck you mean chicken ain't real? Yeah, can I get a, a wing meal? Oh, I was just wondering, where do you actually uh, get the chicken from? Hmm? Where do you actually get the chicken from? You don't know? Okay. Seeing as the professionals clearly knew nothing, I decided to hire some degenerate to do some tests for me. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Alfred Baxter Steiner. An engineer of biology. Now, first off, I have a very big problem with this. What's this? What part of the chicken is this? From my research, I've conducted that chickens have no scales. So, your guess is as good as mine. Now, these are supposedly wings. However, if you're using anything that can fly with one of these, I certainly haven't. Tonight's the anniversary of my son's death. <laughs> so my fault. <laughs> anyway, back to at hand. The second piece is more intact than this one. So I'm going to take a taste of this and see if this is really chicken. So the first bite, I'm feeling crunch and it's wet, juicy. <laughs> I'm just having a <coughs> jokes on him. That chicken was poisoned. To balance things out, we decided it was only fair to interview some lunatics we found on the street. You guys will be in the video. <laughs> how, much, how much do you know about chicken? A uh, chicken is a chicken. Do you like chicken? No. Oh, do you eat it? Okay. Well, do you like like uh, like chicken nuggets? Uh, nah, not really. Do you want some IKEA pencils? IKEA pencils. Yeah. Alright, thanks for coming on the show, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe. What's your channel's name? Uh, Illuminati. No. Illuminati? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm actually a, a Zionist. Alright, you guys be safe. Uh, don't drink and drive. Safe. Okay. Safe. Safe. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. Stay in school. Yes, uh, subscribe to my Fortnite page. Eric Marshall is a local chicken truther and devout Scientologist. The governments are fools if they think they can trick an alpha male like me. But if chickens are real, how come I never seen one? A bird that can't fly? That's ridiculous. Hidden in plain sight. Look at these plastic models. Hidden in plain sight. Nobody survived that interview. 
Arnold Pillington Smythe is the leader of the Chicken Truth the Resistance. Thank you for coming, fellow believers. Now, as we all know, a lot of made up words like uh, chicken are being thrown around by the man. However, what if I were to tell you that in reality, they were ducks? Overall, the mystery of chicken is still one that holds a lot of unsolved mysteries. Will we solve them? Who knows? But I hope this program opened some minds and made you all think twice. Wait, ah! <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Where are you? What are you insane? Get me out of here! What are you looking at me for? Hey, 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 chill, chill. No, no, come on, man, come on, man. I'm, I'm rich, I can pay you, I can, I'll give you anything you want. I, I have uh, a women. <laughs> and that was when I realised, chickens are real, and they've been among us this whole time. Not as meat, nor livestock, but as our overlords, our masters. You think it's a coincidence that no major religion condemns the consumption of chicken? They're using their meat to slowly brainwash the masses, making them more addicted by the bite. But do you know what? I think that's a good thing. You keep eating your chicken wings and nuggets, but remember the next time you do, we'll be here, and we'll be waiting for you. I know who's behind all of this. The G I'm Dr. Barney Professional. No, shit. 40% of my life, this, uh, fuck. Why is, your, why is your toilet lid sticking? Toilet lid? Yeah. And this recording, recording. It's recording. Um, <laughs> cut that so out. Because I, I put this on, on the toilet lid at first, because I thought, oh, that would be clean, I can get changed. And then I realized it was really sticky, and I put it in the sink, and the sink was just dripping, so I had to just put the clothes on the floor. Why do you put this fucking thing in the sink? Because I didn't. I, look, man. Uh, note to myself while I'm editing uh, fuck you. Facebook.